Hello, I saw Priscilla on the Readables respond to a video by Tiernan on the booktuber about being a book collector um, and I want to jump in this discussion and I thought it would be only appropriate if I stood in front of my bookshelf for it. Hi everybody, my name is Charlotte and I'm a book collector. Yes, I'm a book collector and there's nothing wrong with that. Just like there's nothing wrong with not being a book collector and not caring about keeping books. Yeah, when people come into my room I get the same old responses. Wow, that's a lot of books. Do you do anything but read? You cannot have read all of them. Jesus, why do you waste so much money on books? I do spend far too much money on books. People think it's shallow to own a lot of books and that there's some sort of like pretentious superiority complex there, but I just like books. Okay, admittedly, I have not read all of them. I've read about a half of all of the books I own. I think it's about finding the right balance between loving books for the story and loving books for the object. Sometimes it can feel like you're collecting things as a sort of trophy of having read them. But I think the majority of the books I collect are for future reference and for just sort of like preservation. I like the idea of developing a collection. Unlike I think probably a majority of book collectors, I don't care if my books aren't in pristine condition. I like to turn the corners over, I like to write notes in the margins, I don't care if I break the spine. One thing I love about collecting books is just being able to organise them. Like I spend... I'm just, I'm really bad at this. Okay, here's a secret. I built my bookshelf. I designed it in Illustrator and then with my dad's help I built it and I sanded it on my own, I painted it on my own, I constructed it on my own. Um, but not only did I design it in Illustrator, I also uh, populated it with book spines. I have spent several entire night times of my life taking pictures of the spines of my book and arranging them in Illustrator to design the look of the books on my shelf before I rearrange them or even own them. I have wish list bookshelf things where I've copied in what the, the really nice book sets that I want to buy would look like in my bookshelf. I'm crazy. That isn't really coming from books though, that's coming from me as a person who likes to design things and I spent multiple hours rearranging things, like currently I'm loving this horizontal stack thing, it feels really cool. People do find it weird when I have more than one edition of the book and this happens quite often. I have a really big thing about book dimensions, so if it's not standard paperback size or like the popular penguin size, which is this one, it drives me insane. Like I have some small shelves down here for series and they're all exactly 200mm high on the inside because all paperbacks are either 197 or 198, standard British paperbacks, that is the height of them. And then I bought the Uglies quartet and it's 220mm, it's driving me crazy. I spent so long deciding which version to get without looking at the dimensions and I'm seriously tempted to just throw that away and get one that fits into my bookshelf. If the series isn't completely available in one format, I'm going to rebuy it later all in the same format. That's just sense to me. That's just aesthetic sense. I do have a developing problem though, and it's getting worse and worse, in that I like to collect Tolkien. Down here we have this half of my shelf, which is just for Tolkien stuff. And I decided about two years ago to invest in these gorgeous deluxe slipcase hardback half Collins, just mastery beautiful things and I have six of them now. I think that's all of the ones that are about the Tolkien Legendarium, correct me if I'm wrong, there's only four of Arthur left. And I was like, yes, these are the things that I can read and will also be beautiful to preserve for future generations because my old Tolkien books were really crappy. They were, they, they got damp and then I tried to undampen them in the oven and sort of like melted the covers together. It just, it went really wrong. Then last year, HarperCollins decided to release another set of cloth-bound Tolkien hardbacks with The Hobbit and I couldn't help it. Seriously, look at this. Look at this. I just saw the other day that in June they're releasing another set of the trilogy with a special reader's companion or with the original covers that Tolkien designed himself and I am really struggling to hold myself back. I'm liking to think that the Tolkien is like a separate preserved collection in comparison to just my bookshelves in general but who are we kidding? I'm gonna buy every- I'm, I'm one of those people. I'm gonna fucking build a hobbit hole and then just have it filled with memorabilia. That's gonna- that's me. That's me. I'm just that person. I'm sorry. I am just one of those people though that cares about objects. I think it's about half and half at the people that I've met that really care and respect and revere physical things and others that don't really care and find the replaceable and disposable um, 
but I think maybe maybe it's because I grew up with an interior designer for mother that has just given me this reverence of things. I really like how as I grow older I have more things to my name and things that have influenced me and taught me stuff. Like who wouldn't want that? I've always said that my dream house has a library. That is the pinnacle of living having a library. A place for preserving favourite adventures. A room of beautiful considered objects of design and objects of writing. And a place to discover new things comfortably and serenely and just in an environment that's made for it. So that's my spiel on being a book collector. Tell me if you like to collect books or don't like to collect books. That would be even more interesting. See you soon.